good afternoon world from the Fox and Firefly Resort at Lebok River. We're going to do some stand up paddle boarding today. This is the beautiful Lebok River. These are our boards for the day. Rory is already good to go, she's got her life jacket on. And this is Kuya Troy, he's going to be taking us out today. How long is the tour? Um, back and forth, four hours. Four hours? Yeah, like the, the max. And what's at the end of it? Uh, the waterfall. There's a waterfall at the end, yes. yeah? Cool. Alright, story, did you hear that? There's a waterfall at the end of this. Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall! Fantastic! Alright. Right, now your turn. Let's do this. I'm really bad with names. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Already on board. That didn't take long, did it? No. This is beautiful. The perspective from the water just changes everything. You can stand at the side for as long as you want, but it just changes yeah. completely when you get on. We are going to be heading upstream that way, all the way until we get to the waterfall. Right, we're already moving, just taking our time. This is my first time standing on one of these foam stand-up putter boards. We have the inflatable ones at home, so it's a little bit of a different feel. I feel like we're making good pace. The last time we did this, we were on the sea, and obviously there's a lot more current there. But here on the river, every stroke sends you flying. Quite a good day for it as well, not too much sunshine. I'm already standing up on the board, but I can't actually paddle and vlog at the same time. <laughs> Just over here, you can see one of the wrecked Lobok River cruise boats. So it must have got destroyed during Typhoon Odette. But if you're looking at coming here to the river and doing the cruises, they've still got plenty of boats available down that way. Yeah. Just paddled ahead so I can get a shot of everyone coming towards us. These are the river tour boats I was just talking about. These massive places, you have dinner on there or they do evening cruises as well. I don't know exactly where they take you. About a thousand pesos each, I think. You having fun? Enjoying the river. This is nice. Just passing by one of the famous churches in town with a big I love Lobok sign there in the name of this town and river. All right, here's one of the river cruise boats coming now. <laughs> it's really loud. They got live music on board. Dinner. Everyone looks very happy though. <laughs> Lots of waving going on. I think everyone's finished their dinner now. <laughs> it's super noisy though. So our tour guide Troy was saying that tourism is only just starting to come back now in the last like week or so. He's only just come back to work here in the last week and they keep the river clean here specifically so that the tourists don't see a load of trash. You know like the governor of this area is quite hot on trash pickup and you can see why it's a beautiful area and there's lots of these boats coming by and like enjoying the river this is the highlight of the zone so if it was full of trash it wouldn't be very good it is starting to feel a little bit hot now <laughs> the sun has come out but it's creating that beautiful twinkle on the river it's a lovely experience actually Troy says when we get further into the jungle it gets a bit quieter which I'm looking forward to Story wants to go for a swim too we've been going for about an hour and a half now Standing underneath these cliffs with the trees growing out of them. Very cool. I can hear the waterfall now. I knew that we were paddleboarding towards a waterfall, but all of a sudden I just had a thought are we paddling to the top of the waterfall <laughs> or are we going to be at the base of it? Because otherwise I should probably wait for Troy to catch up, but I can just see now we're at the bottom of it. Nothing to worry about. Story and Mummy just coming around the corner now. I just sat down, <laughs> just in case the wake knocks me over. And we made it, probably took about an hour and a half. I really enjoyed that. We made it! We made it to the waterfalls! Fantastic! The boards have been parked. Oh, that's a massive rock. <laughs> Stop them. Whoa, it's slippery. Good thing you've got, you got the water shoes on, eh? <laughs> So are you excited? Yeah. We finally made it. Yay. <laughs> Looks like you didn't really need a life jacket in the end, did you? No. Not for this bit anyway. Story's always looking for a place to do a bit of paddling. I would say probably that bit there, Story, on the left. Because it looks the least currenty. 
there's a current there, we'll send you straight back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> no paddle boarding required. Did you enjoy the ride though? Yeah. I enjoyed the ride. We finally made it to the waterfall. Joe and Story are braving the waterfall waters. So it's really cold. <laughs> nice and refreshing. <laughs> it's not deep, not there. Yeah, this is this kind of safe bit to swim in because there's no current there. It's an epic place to have a little afternoon dip and cool off after that sweaty sup ride down the river here. You can see the currents moving along that way. Are you standing or not? Okay. Stow is in her element right now. The whole paddleboard journey down here she kept asking how long till we get there can I swim when we get there <laughs> she was a little bit hesitant actually to get in the water at first because it is a bit kind of murky and lots of rocks underneath but she's in having the time of her life at the base of a waterfall it's amazing Hello my little adventurer. How was that? Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, You look like Tarzan. <laughs> I've got the hair, I've got the stick. I mean, Tarzan probably wouldn't use a stick. Just uh, floats with the vines. Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep swimming. You want to keep swimming? Yeah. I think we're gonna head off now though to get what? back. Already? Yeah. Woohoo! So yeah, super super girl pose. <laughs> That's a good way to go. We're on our way back. We're gonna stop off at a cold spring on the way. So Story can do a little bit more swimming because it wasn't really swim friendly there. A little bit too rocky and slimy, but still amazing experience. Very glad that we're doing this instead of the party boat thing, <laughs> which I had no idea was gonna be like that. Just up there you can see somebody's house tucked in there underneath the hills my goodness what a place to live the sun is setting now what a day it's actually quite fun standing up yeah yeah what well, is stand up paddle boarding you look amazing. Well done. Good balance. Thank you. <laughs> you enjoying it? Yeah. Do you feel wobbly? Do you feel wobbly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look wobbly, you look pretty steady there. This is so peaceful. Sasha and Story are both standing on the board now. I think most of the party boats have stopped so we're hearing more natural noises look at you two go <laughs> nice balance impressive your board is a little bit wider isn't it yeah two people perfect for two people yeah no he would have loved this granddad <laughs> yeah granddad we all said granddad at the same time <laughs> paddle boarding down the Lobok river fantastic <laughs> we just pulled into the cold spring. This is Story's favourite part. <laughs> She's just screaming about how cold it is. Well, it's probably not that much colder than that. No, it's the same as what it was at the waterfall. It's obviously colder than the sea at Shargel, but there you go. Story, get a nice swim in. Something for everyone. And we can just leisurely float along on the boards. No need to get cold. <laughs> just relax. We made it without falling in. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I have really wobbly legs now. Yeah, if you fall <laughs> off this bit now, that'd be funny. <laughs> My legs are shaking, yeah. Story. Yeah, I'm Can coming you up now. Help you get out? It's okay. Oh, yeah, very sweet. You okay, we'll hold on to your stick, yeah? Go on, then reach your stick out. There we go, I've got it. Now you walk backwards. <laughs> Did you enjoy that story? Yes. Let's have some buka juice. Look at this. Fresh buka juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
This is probably one of the first coconuts we've had since the storm, mm. hasn't it? It's nice. Good one. A lot of this, the coconuts fell down after the storm and then haven't had many. So, looking forward to this. How's the coconut? Good. Nice and juicy? Yeah. Well, Poppy has been a very nice girl. Resting here in the room while we've been out paddle boarding. We've actually been in and tidied the room while she was in there, which is rare. Normally, <laughs> staff don't do that when the dog is in the room, but it must be experienced with pets. I've got five dogs here. Got beautiful sunset light coming now over the rice fields, taking Poppy out for a nice evening walk. What an enjoyable day. I feel nicely exercised. My body feels nice and tight. <laughs> Your body feels tight. Yeah? My legs are still shaking. Are they? Yeah. How about you, Story? You didn't do much exercise, you were just relaxing. Yeah, Story did swimming. Yeah, she did actually. You're a bit bored? Yes. You mean when we were just paddling? Yes. But well, what about the swimming part? Was that the fun bit? Yeah. Okay, nice. So what did you say to me on the board though at one point? Remember? What? Dory said, this is so nice. Thank you for bringing me here. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Have you been a good girl? I think you've been a good girl, haven't you? Right, I'm not sure how much battery we've got left on this action camera, <laughs> so we're going to end the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.